The next file that I've included is uh, the JavaScript file halogen.tabs.js. This is my JavaScript file that uses and enhances the jQuery tabs. After this, I have a call to hash.js. This code was written by Jared Pierce and Paul Johnston, and it offers a number of ways to provide a hash based on a string. Nice work, guys. The final two JavaScript files are used to generate the lava lamp menu effects. So with everything set up, I'm ready to write some JavaScript code. The first bit right here um, is shorthand and it tells jQuery that when the document is ready for processing, it should run an anonymous function right here. An anonymous function, if you're not familiar with that term, is just one that doesn't have any name uh, placed on it. These are used a lot when writing jQuery code. And the first block of code just enables the lava lamp plugin and it points it to the DOM element that I want to turn into a lava lamp style menu. Next, I create a JavaScript object called tabs. It's an instance of the tabs class that's inside my halogen.tabs.js file. And when instantiating it, I pass into it a jQuery object that encloses the DOM element that I want to use to display tabs. We'll come back to this code. Finally, I point jQuery at the menu, telling it that when one of the menu items is clicked, it should do the following things. First, it should create a unique hash based on the menu item's alt attribute. Second, it should call the tab object's tab method, and it should pass both the title that the tab should display and the unique hash. Now this unique hash will be used by halogen.tabs.js to either select a tab that matches the tab hash, if one already exists, or if one doesn't exist, to create a new one. And then finally, knowing that the tab will now exist, I can call jQuery's load method, pointing it to the appropriate cold fusion file that will have the content I want displayed. As far as the content, these are all in separate files, and you can see that they're very, very it's very simple code, nothing much to it here. Now if you're really into the enhance the details of how the enhancements to the tabs work, I'll show you, but if you find yourself getting confused, I recommend just treating this as magic code that provides some nice enhancements to the basic jQuery UI tabs. The most important function is the um, tab method. And the tab method, as I said, takes a title and a unique hash. And we're going to determine here whether or not to create a new tab or simply select one. So I'm going to loop over an array that I've created to see if I already have a tab with that unique hash in it. If I do, I'll just call the select method right here and then return. If I got to this point, apparently I didn't find one, so I'm going to go ahead and add um, into uh, my array a new uh, unique hash so that I can find it for uh, when someone else wants to add, call tab on this. And then I'm going to tell jQuery, uh, please display this tab. And then finally we have a method called remove that's called when someone clicks on the little delete button and it removes both the uh, jQuery tab and the entry into my array. So that's really pretty much all there is to this. Very simple code, but it offers some really nice functionality. I hope you found this helpful, and if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. Thanks.